Of course, as soon as I pull out the camera. Pause, pause. Miss ma'am, I didn't leave you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Anyways, hello, welcome back to my channel. Or welcome to my channel if you are new. Y'all, it has been so long since I've vlogged for YouTube. This camera settings are just like all out of whack, so if it's out of focus in some parts of this video, I apologize. But I'm wanting to get back into the swing of vlogging now that I am not pregnant and just going through it every damn day. <laughs> not that I'm not now because, you know, newborns are hard. But I do feel so much better. Like, I know a lot of women, like, pregnancy is a beautiful thing, obviously, because I'm bringing life into this world and yada yada. But I, mm -mm, I do not like being pregnant. I really enjoy having my babies here and that's fine. Like pregnancy just isn't for everybody. So yeah, it's been a minute since I've vlogged and now we have a whole damn baby. She looks like she's about to have a BF so I'm gonna have to take her out of the car seat because the car's not moving. We are at Parker's vasectomy appointment. Yay, claps, cheers, hurrahs. I'm not gonna talk too much about it just because I don't know how much he wants to share, but it is like known that he's the one that's gonna be getting the vasectomy, so I'll say that, and then when he's out, if he wants to talk about it, he can talk about it. But I'm so excited for like, just for him to get this done and this chapter of our lives to be over like the baby making bodies and machines and the super sperms are done for thank god we talked about him waiting to get this done like after she was born just in case like obviously you know in case anything happened and like basically no time was wasted because she's only nine days old and here we are at this appointment <laughs> but it's good like he can heal up while I'm healing up because you know like there's a six week waiting period after you have a baby and so it just like works out good that we can just heal together. I feel like so much has happened since the last time I vlogged but I also feel like not a lot has happened since last time I vlogged because I just was like we're taking it easy like being pregnant and stuff like that. Still like life obviously was continuing and so things were happening. Vlogging really wasn't the issue for me because I do have a few vlogs that I <laughs> recorded oh hold on it's the editing part that was really getting my ass by the way if you're a mom and you like to get your nails done but you always break your nails getting the baby out of the car seat i got this thing off of tiktok shop it's the unbuckle me but i just put my finger in this and look it comes straight out no broken nails for me and then i just keep it right here I had to come to the front seat because it was getting a little hot back there. This is Miss Jade Evie Lee, aka Jelly Belly, aka Jelly Bean, aka Princess. She's nine days old today. Wait, today's the 10th, not today's the 11th. She's 10 days old today. Her birthday is October 1st. So we have a baby the first day of October, her birthday, and then we have a baby the last day of October, Oliver's birthday. If you follow me on TikTok, you know that I was doing everything to get her out of me. When I say everything, like I'm not even playing with you. To get her out of me in September because I really wanted her to freaking have a September birthday because no one in my family has a September birthday and everybody in our family is in October. Get this, October 1st is Jade, October 3rd is my sister, October 5th is my nephew, October 16th is my sister, October 21st is Parker's mom, October 31st is Oliver. Like, that is so unnecessary. Every week in October, we have a freaking birthday. So I really wanted her to have the September birthday because we don't have one birthday in September in my family. And of course she came a few hours after September. And was born on October 1st, but that's okay. She was six pounds, eight ounces, which is bigger than both of the boys. Brian was five pounds, 12 ounces, and Oliver was six pounds, 
six ounces, I think, or four ounces, something like that. She was bigger than both the boys. Not taller, because they were 19 inches and she was 18, but I knew she was gonna be my biggest baby. Like, I gained 25 pounds this pregnancy. With the boys, with Brian, I didn't gain any weight. They were, like, t trying to get me to gain weight. They had me on, like, supplements and stuff. And then with Oliver, I gained five pounds. So, literally, just him. That's all I gained. With her, the appetite was appetiting. I just was so hungry my whole pregnancy and I was really craving sweets. I just was indulging in basically anything I wanted as you should do when you're pregnant. And I haven't weighed myself to see how much I've lost mainly because I don't really want to focus on that because I'm only a week postpartum. Why would I do that to myself? But yeah, she's actually so perfect. She reminds me so much of Brian when he was a baby. Because she is just so sleepy. She is such a sleepy and relaxed baby. Sorry, I'm like looking around because there's so many people walking around. And I just get a little nervous. This lady next to me is staring at me so hard. <laughs> yeah, um, she reminds me so much of Brian. Like all Brian did when he was a baby was sleep, sleep, sleep. It like took me forever to wake him up to feed and she is the exact same way. She just wants to sleep, sleep. I gotta take off all her damn clothes to get her up to feed. Her doctor told me that I can like let her sleep um, longer than the two to three hour stretch because of her weight gain because Miss Girl be eating good. She is definitely a little titty baby. And I don't know, maybe the boys ate good too, but because they were formula fed, I just like was like dumping formula in a bottle, but because I'm breastfeeding, it feels like all she does is eat and eat and eat. As you can see, she has a whole freaking head full of hair. I know people say that like the whole heartburn thing is a myth, but I don't know y'all because I had lava coming out of my throat when I was pregnant with her. It was crazy. I couldn't have like anything that had even like a little bit of spice, like too much pepper was gonna put me through it. So yeah, I just wanted to start vlogging again. I don't know how consistent I'm gonna be because the editing part is what gets me when it comes to vlogging. And I know people tell me to like get an editor, but I am just not comfortable with that. And I don't know because I record for a long time and I cut the shit out of these vlogs. My kids are acting out and I gotta be like, you better shut up, kidding. But I don't know, just like giving people control to like my life is a little weird. Or like the view of my life is, it's a little weird for me, but we'll see. We'll see what I decide. I don't know if I should wait here for Parker or maybe go find like a TJ Maxx because I saw that holiday stuff is out and I'm doing Christmas at my house this year. I want to like decorate very cute and I'm doing like Christmas completely different this year. Usually I do like neutral colors and stuff like that. I'm doing actual colors this year. I was able to get the Studio Mickey Velvet Christmas ornaments in the colorful colors which I freaking love so much. They're so cute. I was going on like a whole adventure trying to find the ones from Hobby Lobby that are brown and like white and neutral colors like the last week of me being pregnant but I really like the Studio McGee colorful ones better so I'm so glad that I got those from Target. I think because I have dark cabinets now and stuff like that it's making me feel like I need to bring some life into this house because at the other house Everything was so freaking white and bright. That color just, I don't know, just wasn't gonna do it for me. But in this house, it just kind of fits better. Okay, so if you were following me on TikTok during like all of that gown gate shit, if you know, you know, like I'm not really gonna talk about it that much. Y'all aren't even gonna believe that I didn't even wear a gown when I went into labor because a bitch was in too much pain like it just I have to share my birth story with you guys but I bought a different gown obviously because I wanted to not wear the hospital gown because it was so like just big and ugly and at the point that like I got admitted to the hospital I didn't give a fuck okay I put that hospital gown on and did not wear <laughs> the gown the other gown that I bought it just was a wrap so it's still in my suitcase locking the store immediately why is this guy walking up on my car like this i will say my anxiety postpartum with oliver is was completely different than my anxiety postpartum with jade and with brian i just was 17 and 
honestly living my best life that was like crazy with Oliver my anxiety was more centered like around him and like wanting to protect him and like just being just very like just so anxious I was so freaking anxious with Oliver like I didn't drive with him like isolated myself it was it was not good this time um I don't really have like a lot of anxiety it's more so like when I'm out in public because you know people are fucking crazy I tried to go to the mall yesterday and I felt like everybody was staring at me and so I had to leave which isn't really like me because I'm kind of used to people staring at me that sounds so stupid but people stare you know like people just stare it's never been so bad where I just start having like an anxiety attack like I did yesterday and right now I'm kind of feeling a little anxious, all these people just driving next to my car and walking past my car. Anyways, that was a lot of chit chatting, but y'all know I could literally talk for like 30 minutes. So I'm just gonna sit here and I guess wait for Parker because he said that that, that that, why am I stuttering? He said that he's in the room. Oh my goodness, the baby scrunches. Hey, how are you feeling? My balls hurt. <laughs> <laughs> well, once I got started, that was really quick. It feels like um, when Oliver is, like, you know, he likes to punch in the nuts. Yeah, that's it, Oliver's signature move is punching in the nuts. It feels like that's what he did, like, but for the last 15 minutes. Did it burn or anything? Like, how did it feel? Uh, no burning. He injected my balls, like, six times. With numbing stuff? Yeah. That hurt the most. The shot. The first. That's usually what hurts the most is the numbing. Oh my god. Dude, the lady was like, it's gonna feel like a rubber band. No, it did not feel like a so rubber band. So you had a girl clean your balls? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't call her a girl. She was a very grown lady. Doesn't. Okay, whatever. You had a woman cleaning your balls for 10 minutes. Bro, I say 10 minutes, it was probably really only like five. But yeah, she was scrubbing the shit out of my balls. And it was so cold. They turned the fan on when they started scrubbing it. I was like, like they man. want it to be cold so that you guys don't get a hard on. Uh, there's no. They want hard you on guys there. to stay tight. I started sweating. <laughs> God, I. Did, you, did he ask how many kids you had? No, he didn't even care. That's a crazy part. Yeah, that's the crazy part because women can't get their tubes tied because they seriously are like, how many kids do you have? Oh no, I'm not going to tie your tubes in case you want more kids or you don't have enough kids. But then a man goes in there and they just open up your coochie. Let me get in there and snip it off. Yeah. <laughs> well, Jella Belly. It's the last of a dying breed. Officially the last baby in this family. Facts. Do you oh. smell it? No. Yeah, people say that you can smell it burning. No, no, he didn't use that procedure. He clipped mine. Oh, dang. But we gotta take the board through. We're gonna have all the kids that we could do that. Okay, we got home and then passed the fudge out. Jade, Parker, and I, we were out of there. But I did stop at Home Goods because it was next to the restaurant. I've seen everybody post Christmas stuff. I wanted to see if my Home Goods had Christmas stuff out, and they did. It wasn't a lot, but they did have Christmas stuff out. So I picked up a few things. And then I have some other packages that got delivered that we can open. This little reindeer. I got it in white. Look how cute this is. This might look so cute like in Jade's room because I have gold accents and white in here. And then this Christmas tree. It's like a fabric, with like a little star up here. The same tree, but in a bigger size. And then I got this to hold my breast milk in. I'm not like exclusively pumping or anything like that. I'm trying to exclusively only breastfeed. But you know, like when you breastfeed out of one boob, you leak out of the other boob. So I've been putting a Hakka catcher on this boob and I've collected like a lot of milk and I've just been freezing it. So when I go get my lashes and my nails done, Parker will be able to feed her and give her boob milk instead of formula. And it's just sitting in the freezer. So I wanted to get this to organize it a little bit better because it's starting to add up, girl. And then from Target, I got more Christmas stuff. The Studio McGee Christmas line came out the other night and I just so happened to be on the app and so I got notified. So obviously I ordered because that shit sells out so freaking fast and then people like resell that stuff for so much money and I'm like, be for real, like this is Target. 
pillow for the living room. Honestly, I probably should have got two because I have two large couches, but I just got this one. And then I got this pillow, which again, I don't know why I didn't get two of these when I have two couches. I'm not gonna open it until I decorate for Christmas because I'm gonna put all of this in the garage and I don't want them to get dirty. Okay, this is from Wild Bird. She asked if she could send me something and she was letting me ch choose between like a sleep sack and clothes and Jade has so many clothes. I just was like, yeah, let's do the sleep sack. Sleep sacks are new to me too. Like I've only ever used like a swaddle when the boys were little and then kind of just like let them sleep with their blankies. I know you're not supposed to do that, but that's what I used to do. I won't be doing that now because I'm educated, but Jade's still in her swaddles. And then I guess you put them in the sleep sacks instead of blankets. There's so much shit now with kids. I just told her to send me like a sleep sack in any print. This one's really cute. It's like a green with these cute little flowers on there. So whenever Miss Girl starts sleeping in her bed, um, I'll put her in this. This is so soft. I know everybody likes like the kite baby ones, which I've felt because there's a little shop it like by me that has kite baby and I went to go feel it and I just was like girl y'all are paying $70. <laughs> so I think it's probably like more than $70. I don't know how much this one is but it is so soft. Party favors for Oliver's classroom. I did get like goodie bags but I just was like I cannot be bothered to do the goodie bags. And so I just ordered these pre-made little what are these called? Whatever these are called. And they're filled with like little toys. Oliver has a friend in his class that has a G-tube and she doesn't eat. She eats like from her tube. And so I don't want to send like candy and stuff because she can't eat that and I don't want her to feel like excluded from the rest of the kids. So I wanted to just get little party favors that have cute little toys. And anyways, it's on Halloween. Like the kids are gonna get so much candy when they go trick or treating, so they'll be fine. PR package from Fenty Skin sunscreen. It's only SPF 15. Oh, it's a hand cream. People will be sleeping on sunscreen on the hands. You know, like your hands when you're driving, your hands when you're doing anything, they're in the sun and your hands can age you just like so much. Mmm, this smells good. This is immediately going into my purse. Well, my diaper bag now that I don't have a purse. <laughs> Last box. Got this for Jade, obviously. Yeah, three months. Look how cute this is. It has like little ballerinas and nutcrackers, stockings, y'all. We got a large ass family, okay? We have a fucking basketball team of kids. You know how many stockings I had to buy? I had to buy seven of these bitches. I'm surprised they even had seven in stock. But these are so cute. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven. God damn. I hope Santa got a good budget this year. I'm gonna open them like I said, but it's like, Color. So there's red, there's this mustard color, and that's like a dark green. I don't know if they're sold out or not yet. I'm pretty sure they are, but I'm so glad I got those. I got two boxes of them. That red, mustard, green, and blue, like with the velvet or felt finish. That is it. Now that I made such a mess in this room, I'm going to go feed my baby and probably fall asleep again. I'm so tired. Breastfeeding is exhausting. Like I remember being tired after the boys, don't get me wrong, because having a baby is exhausting, but something about like having to get up and like get your boob out and get her to latch, it takes me an hour. So she's waking up at like 5 a.m. right now. She's actually doing really good with her sleeping. She's waking up at five and her doctor said that I don't have to wake her up every two to three hours anymore because she's gaining weight. Like, I call her, she's a jelly belly. Like that girl likes to eat. So I don't know. I'm just up for like an hour and a half every time she wants to feed. And my camera's gonna die, of course. So I will pick this up again 
tomorrow. Okay y'all, today I did not vlog. It was a fail. <laughs> I was so exhausted. I basically just slept all day. <sighs> you smell so good. And I want to end this vlog because I feel like if I don't end it now, I won't get it up and I won't edit it. So it might just be a short little vlog. She's finally like following my face. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you avoid, avoid, oh my god. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next vlog.